are in the prime time of fall. Like I know fall, everyone's like, you know, September, October, but I'm so excited to be filming this video at this time because I feel like it's the perfect time for when, you know, we're getting off of that high of Halloween and we just have one more month for Christmas to come. And I cannot wait for the Christmas content. When I tell you, I get to have my own Christmas tree this year. Now that I'm living alone in my own apartment, I don't want to neglect November because I tend to do that. And I did that last year and I just forgot about it because I was like, you know, it's not Christmas, it's not Halloween, what even is November? Not this year. And to start off with that, we have a very busy day and vlog in front of us. This is going to be my ultimate fall vlog and I'm taking you on a couple of days in my life. But first, let's get ready for the day because this, this is not, this is not gonna cut it for today. Welcome to my bathroom. I feel like this is like a Vogue intro. But we are going to start off with skincare because we need to prep our faces, especially for this winter season. I will not be having eczema. I'm telling you this now. I'm gonna take care of my skin because last year I had eczema for way too long and it was it was a traumatic experience. I actually have a few skincare products to talk to you guys and tell you guys about. Thank you to Belief USA for sponsoring today's video. Belief, which is a skincare brand that is so amazing and actually carried at Sephora. And I specifically wanted to talk about the Sephora VIB sale that is going on in November that you guys will be able to pick these products up from. The products I'm gonna be talking about today is the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm and the other product is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Belief USA actually originated in Korea, which is my favorite type of skincare. I love their name. I think it's super cute and their story behind it is just that they are a truthful brand. And with that being said, it just means that they are honest about the ingredients and you know that what you're putting on your face is safe and clean. <laughs> This product is literally my favorite type of texture. It's just so soft. You can literally already see the glow on my face. This cream is such a good base for your makeup to go on top. And it also smells so good. It just smells like fresh. I also love the blue color. Putting on this cream literally feels like your face is drinking water. It has a cooling effect and it's overall just super refreshing. Like please just take a moment to admire my face right now. No more dull skin today. It says that it increases your hydration level and it's ideal for customers that either have dry, oily, or combination skin. And I feel like not only is it perfect for the winter, but it's also perfect for the summer months because it is so refreshing. The cream overall just provides such a weightless yet extremely hydrating base. Next up, we are going to use the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm and this is an all-time favorite for me. I'm just going to apply some of this eye cream. You actually don't need a lot, but under my eyes and oh, my god, this is literally my favorite eye cream that I think I've ever tried. It's just so hydrating and like your concealer is gonna go on perfectly after this because there's just gonna be no dryness, no cracks. This eye cream provides intense moisture up to 26 hours and it also boosts elasticity. It just smells clean. It doesn't really smell like much, but I like the smell of it. Sephora's VIB sale is the perfect time to stock up on any of your favorite Belief products. If you're also new to the brand Belief, there are a lot of kits or minis that you can try out that make it super easy to try the product without committing to a full size. I've shopped myself on the Sephora VIB sale and you save so much money and you know, that's money that I'd be spending throughout the year anyways. You are actually able to get up to 20% off on Belief products, like the link in my description. Go check out the sale and these products themselves will be linked in the description down below. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then we can continue on our day. My makeup is done. I'm kind of obsessed with how it turned out. I know you guys have been asking me for a makeup routine for like a really long time, and I feel like I've just finalized the perfect routine for me, so I definitely wanna do a little chatty get ready with me because honestly, I feel really disconnected from you guys, and I feel like it is much needed to just do like a sit down type of video where I catch up, maybe like a little Q and A. If you guys are interested in watching that, please let me know in the comments down below because I think it's necessary. But let's get changed for the day. We need a fall outfit, so let me show you what I picked out. Here she is, it's looking a little bit crazy right now, but I've got a pair of Levi jeans. I'm obsessed with how these look. Um, I got these from Mintage, which is like a thrift store. And then on this side, I have this super cute necklace and I have this ring. Now, first of all, this necklace is from Every Jewels. How cute. And second of all, guys, I bought myself a Dior ring. This is my first probably like designer little splurge that I've gotten. Obviously it's super small, but I'm obsessed with how it looks. It's so pretty. And this is going to be like my prized possession. Like I cannot lose this. Also guys, my nails, let's not mind that. Next up on this side we have a brown little baby tee from brandy melville and then this jacket that is actually from tna it kind of looks like it's from brandy as well but yeah i'm gonna wear these two together it might be a little bit cold might have to find something to wear under this and then i have this little bag on top which is from brandy melville as well it's like a suede material and a little what's in my purse i literally only have my pouch it's also brown it's from brandy here is the fit 
she's a simple one, but nevertheless, we like her. She's cute. This is how everything looks. I'm gonna wear this with my Ultra Mini Uggs, which are super cute and one of my favorite shoes for the fall. I'm gonna put some deodorant and some perfume, and then we're gonna go hit the town. I, I wanna see if there's some fall decorations we can buy, because honestly, I really haven't bought like any fall items, or even like Christmas, or like transitional items. <laughs> I'm going to wear this dark green hoodie underneath just because it's really cold outside. It's honestly so cold, but this weather is so beautiful. I'm like into it. I feel like as long as you're warm, then like, you know, it can't be that bad. It's just like a little bit brisk. And I like that. I like that. Anyways, I feel like I haven't vlogged that much in the city since I've lived here. And I'm like not used to it. Like I do feel uncomfortable holding this camera up. But anyways, the store is right over there. I see it with my own eyes. Canadian Thanksgiving is in October and now it's like November, even though the American Thanksgiving is in November. Okay, I'm back in my apartment. I didn't really buy much. I didn't really need anything in the first place, but this is my first Christmas fall in my apartment. So like, I do want to go all out and I feel like it's fun for you guys as viewers to like watch all the little cute stuff and like the whole transformations and whatever. But I went to HomeSense and I bought this charcuterie board. And I'm actually very excited because I'm gonna host dinner this month. It matches my table. I think it's very like fall and I like that it's elevated. So anyways, I got that. And then I also got these little towels for the kitchen they're just like white and gray and they're kind of like Christmassy like kind of like snowflakey vibe I really want my vibe for this Christmas to not be like excessively cheesy red and white like I kind of want it to be more like snowflake vibe anyways I'm really excited we get to go through the transformation together you guys should comment down below how you want me to decorate my apartment for Christmas because that video is also gonna come out soon and I need to pick out what the color scheme is the last thing that I bought were these two gold candlesticks I think that they're so fun and they make an area look so vintage and like Pinteresty. and I want to make a nice little soup. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is an excessively fall, but I feel like soup just screams fall. And I recently bought this and it comes in like a whole package. So I thought that we could make this tonight. And also I've been seeing this recipe for smashed potatoes for like days. It's all over my For You page. And so yesterday I bought these cutie little gold potatoes. So I think we might make this as well. Also, we need to light some candles. Let me show you the new one that I stole from my mom. Here she is. This is the pumpkin grove candle. I don't even know where it's from, but I went to go see my mom and I saw that she had this at home and I was like, please let me borrow that. Let's get on to cooking. But first, let me change out of these uncomfortable jeans. crispy potatoes look like they are sizzling all of this looks burnt but it's just like seasoning I don't think I think the potatoes actually look really good I'm so excited <laughs> Dinner is served. Does it look aesthetic? Maybe not the giant blob of ketchup. I'm kind of scared of this soup. It's like chunky. I'm scared. Let's try the potatoes first. They look so good. You're actually supposed to make them with a avocado dip, which I feel like would be so good, but I don't have any avocados that are like ripe, which is why we're using ketchup and Cholula hot sauce. Mm fryer. I actually just ordered an air fryer. So once I get that, it's going to be so easy for me to cook more intricate recipes and then I can share them with you guys. Let's try our soup. I really need to get like cute bowls because like this is literally the bowl that I make matcha in. Okay, I'm not obsessed with the soup, but like it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just kind of like sweet, which I was not expecting. But anyways, I'm going to watch the new episode of the Kardashians. Sorry, I know it's not super fall. I feel like I should be watching Gilmore Girls or something, but I love the Kardashians. Unfortunately, I do. I'm a stan. And there's a new episode tonight, so I'm going to watch that. <laughs> Hello! 
Today, I'm actually going on a little photo shoot moment with my friends, Michaela and Rosina, and this is one of our favorite hobbies. We always get like three different outfits. We get in the car, we drive downtown, and we take photos all day while trying new cafes, while exploring and talking and eating, and it's one of my favorite activities to do ever. I am late, so, you know, as per usual, but today's outfit, I'm wearing this black long sleeve, feeling kind of like Skims, but it's not Skims. I'm also wearing this black leather jacket that is thrifted, this bag that is thrifted, these little cargo pants from Urban Outfitters, and and some ginormous stomping booties from Naked Wolf. The weather is starting to clear up. It was so cloudy this morning, but I'm not really mad about it at all. I feel like it's just going to accentuate the fall vibe and the gloominess weather, and I'm just really excited to see my friends. I haven't seen them in a minute, and we're gonna actually go to Fort Langley, which if you're from the area, you're gonna know that place. It's like a super cute town that looks very much Gilmore Girls inspired. Like if you've watched that show, that's what this little town looks like because there is leaves falling everywhere. so loud and it's a girl like my age something about a girl my age honking at me girl we in this together thank, thank you so much thank you have a good day it's got an iced oat milk latte with vanilla here she is definitely should have got something like pumpkin flavored and i so didn't which is kind of annoying kind of defeats the purpose but whatever i just needed a good pump me up drink that had caffeine like honestly i don't know what it is i don't know if it's the seasonal change <gasps> we haven't even i don't even know if we've done the time change yet actually like the seasonal change or whatever but i think i've just been sleeping too late recently that i like can't get awake past 9 a.m without my eyes feeling like they're literally shutting now i'm having caffeine which is not a good thing because you know we don't want to be relying on it but we also need energy for the day not bad at all, but I did get four pumps of vanilla. I usually, when I get an iced latte, I get two pumps of vanilla. Four? It's a little, it's a little sweet. Your house. You look like we're going on vacation. Yeah. I'm also wearing like no shirt, but it's fine. Lastly, I wanted to include a little bit of how my Halloween went. As you can see here, I am carving pumpkins with my boyfriend actually. This was so fun. As for Halloween, I honestly took like no photos, but I was a cowgirl and here are some little digital photos my friend took. And then again, I saw the fireworks on actual Halloween day. And yeah, that was my fall vlog today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit on the short end, but I have so many videos coming out soon, so stay tuned. Thank you.